M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the 1 of 11 firmware for the UV K5 or K6. So take a look here, we're listening to Hubnet. Um, you know, I'll go, I'm just going to go and play a bit of radio. Sounding great. Um, now the UV K5, K6 is always sound great. You know, don't listen to anyone that says that these are cheap rubbish. They're not. For, they are right for what they cost. So if anything, you get a lot more than what you spend. So let's say you spend £20 you easily get a lot more value for your pound. Take it from me. These are very good, but remember, they are not Kenwood Jesu Icom. You know, they are a budget radio, but £20, and you'll see what this radio can do. And most people that badmouth these radios are the people that have not taken the time to learn to how to use them. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to load the firmware on. It's very quick and easy. So on the screen now, you're seeing it's in single receive mode, and we've got our spectrum scanning the spe you know the full spectrum there. We've also got the channel hasn't been named, but it's seventy centimeters. We're on Hubnet. You've got a nice signal meter there. It says high power bandwidth is wide. Seven station, I think you're getting two M seventeen is the default channel name. FM mode. Now look at the signal meter. 9 plus and then it says 69. Then you've got minus 23, 24 there. So if we turn it down and we're going to put it into dual watch. So first of all we'll go menu and then dual watch is 14 so we'll go 1, 4. You have to be quick. Menu, 1, 4. Then menu again and we've turned it off and then exit as you know we go menu sorry about this on up and down to on then menu then exit okay we've now got jaw watch look at all that information on the screen now i'm just sat here on this cheap rubber duck here yeah, okay. well, and i'm monitoring hubnet but i'm also hearing the air band come in and yes if you press menu then 48 then menu you'll see you can change mode but when I typed in the the frequency it went straight to AM with the air band anyway so to go to VFO mode just hold down the three sorry the two no get it right the three I'm now in VFO and look at this we're on a CB frequency UK so I grab my thunder pole which I really like these CBs okay thunder pole they're only a hundred pound. I tell you now, they're excellent. But you do with CB, you do need to get out and about and find the activity. You're not going to find it sat in your tiny little room at home. So here goes, one two one two. You can hear my beeps on as well, my Roger beep. One two for a copy. One two for a copy. <laughs> oh, I just love CB. I don't care what anyone says. I just love it. I think it's great fun. But and if I go out on a hill, I always get a contact. But anyway, you know. Uh, back to demonstrating this radio. Okay, so menu wise, let's just go menu. And if we go, if you if you look here, it says 48 of 51. So we've got 51 menus, okay? If you go up and down, select the one you want to change. Let's say key beep, then you go menu. Change your selection, it's off now. Menu, and then exit. Oh, and it sh the beeps should have stopped now. I actually like the beeps. So... We have got some shortcuts as well. Now, if I press and hold number one, watch this. Watch the bands change just here, the bands, okay? And it's going through the different bands that it covers. 27, 133, two meters, 245, whatever that is, 350, and then back to 70 cents. So that's the bands that it covers. It, it, the mode that this one does is AM, FM, DSB is what I'm seeing. So you go menu, 48. And that's just instead of going up and down. Menu again. DSB, AM, FM. That's what we've got on this version of the firmware. Now, can you hear that? air band on a rubber duck inside my shack. How cool is that? Right, radio. Hold down the F. Morning. Is the 
first British Prime Minister Radio. to do so since Sir Winston Churchill in 1944. Ahead of the ceremony, Sir Keir held... Exit to come out of that. If you want to do DTMF, just briefly press the star and then type in your DTMF. And it will DTMF if you just press the PTT. We're not going to do that now. Just uh, turn it on and off. If you hold down the same button, it will just scan whichever frequency you're on. So we're on the A band. Let's hold it down. Scanning. We go to the B. Hold down the 2. Takes you to the B. Air band again. Scan. And it scans. So you can scan air band as well. Exit. Dual watch, like I said, was menu 14, so we'll go menu 1, 4. Uh, dual watch is on, then you just go menu, up and down, menu again, exit. And you're now single watch, and look, you get that nice spectrum scope. Hold down the A and B, and it will take it the other way. You do have to hold it, I'm just pressing the 2. So we're actually scab it. <laughs> scanning the CB bands. I'll just show them with the buttons. Hold down band, changes the band. Hold down A, B, A and B. Hold down, oh yeah, VFO and memory. And yes, it, it can display the memory channel name and the frequency. Scan here and then you've got DTMF. If you hold it down why is it not letting me come out of that? Oh, quickly DTMF then. Hold down scan, you've got scan. Let's say you want to program a repeater. So we'll go, we'll type in the frequency 145 600. That's GB3WR. We're already in wideband. We have the TX power at high and FM. Just go menu and go to number nine. So we go 09 instead of going up and down. And then we go menu again, and we can go up and down. Set the CTCSS tone, 94.8. Then go down one to number 10 menu, direction menu, we want minus menu. And then go down to menu number 11. We want the offset, which is already automatically in this. Not, not, not dot 600, but you can manually just press it and type it. Uh, should be enough. So we've got the tone, the frequency, the tone amount, the tone frequency. So now, in theory, we can go M0FXB and then open up that repeater. We're not going to do it inside this chat. And, you know, we're in single mode now, but you've still got your, your scope there receiving something. If you saw that. We can even invert the screen. Watch this. Go menu. 17. Invert off. So we go menu. Then turn it. To... Oh, look at that. There's all different ones. Ah, so I'm, I'm completely wrong about that. But it says scrambler there. I thought that was a uh, change the screen to black and white. So let's just do select it and then exit. Yeah, so someone tell me what invert is because I literally don't know. We go menu and exit. So that's it really. I thought I'd just show you an overview. At the end of this video, I'll show you me loading it. So many different, all fix on. What's that? So much more for me to learn. I've been just been tinkering. Power, TX power is menu five. You got squelch and widen narrow band and channel step in the first few selections. Squelch there and you can reset if you want. And there's my version. I believe there's a, another version which is called Packed bin. I haven't tried that one. Um, so, sorry that, that, that as clear as it could be. I mean, orange. I mean, who buys an orange radio? <laughs> so, anyway, please hit the like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you on air 7 3. Bye for now. M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Let's write the 1 of 11 firmware to our UV K5 K6 on the left hand side. We'll put the link in to the bin file that you need to do this. 
also the Quashang. We're going to go to IJV and we're going to borrow the program called K5 Programmer. Programmer. When you download it, it looks like this. Okay, I'm just going to show you that now. The first thing we want to do is make a backup. We're going to quickly link the COM number, which is here, COM16. So you just go right click device manager after you've connected the cable. The radio is not in firmware mode, it's just normal mode, and it will detect it and it shows it here. Look, COM16. Then click read calibration, configuration, and it reads it and it will give you a little file that you're going to save somewhere. Okay, don't lose that file. So we're just going to save it here. Because you you know you could have a serious problem if you if you need to reload your radio as it was when you bought it then read calibration and we're going to save that to calibration save and this is actually a method if you've got a radio that you feel that you've bricked this sometimes you can get another k5 borrow that calibration and it might work but it doesn't always work but it has worked for me in the past so we've got that so now using exactly the same program we're going to write the ijv firmware that we downloaded from this file and it's called the one i'm using is the one called firmware bin and it's just a you know when you download it it just looks like a white file you know um, so anyway i'm gonna that will be in the downloads to download those bins you just go here and just go code and then download zip and within that zip it's going to be the bin file that you need so now back to the programming software that we're using called the k5 we're going to put it into firmware mode by turning off the radio hold down the ptt and turn on until you get a white light on top and then you know you're you're ready to do your thing so now we just go right firmware choose the one that you want to use so double click firmware custom main main and then i've done the firmware bin not the packed bin so firmware bin and it just writes it to the radio and that's the safest way for you to ever do firmware where you're always making a backup and then writing firmware do that get into a habit of doing that every time whether it's exuma IJV, KD8CEC, just whatever firmware you do, do what I've just done. And when this comes on, it will be ready to go. And then we can actually learn about, because I've actually never used this before, ever. If we just make it a bit bigger, and then we'll add, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll add on a separate video uh, to learning how to use this. I'm just gonna take that out and just type in a frequency four three four five five zero zero. Oh look, it's got the channel name. I'm just guessing now. I don't even know what 018 is. Uh, so there's no point me guessing. But as we go up and down, it looks like it's changing bands. Menu. There's your menu. Power. And uh, exit. If I just just try holding down the side button. Oh, torch. <laughs> Remember, this is called 1 of 11. or oh, squelch off. F3. F3 is VFO memory. FAB. Nothing, but if we hold it. No. So, right, you can see that I, I literally don't know what I'm doing yet. But I'm going to learn and come back with a, with a longer video. But this is just installation. Bye for now. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, join my channel and buy me a coffee. Seven for eight.